cheap drills actually worth the money here in 2023? So I'm going to throw them on the dyno here and we're going to see what the output is compared to other drills. And we'll see if they can even hold up from the testing. And I have almost all the batteries here for each of these platforms. Now here's a quick look uh, of the specs. We're going to go to page three uh, because this table is actually listed by MSRP. Being that these are brushed, they fall at the bottom cost wise. Let's take a quick look at each drill and then we'll go right into testing. So the HyperTuff, sold by Walmart, made in China. Plastic chuck here, 3 8 15 settings there on that clutch. And then drill mode, definitely rattles when you shake it. Uh, comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery, has a bit holder on the back here, and is single speed. Warrior, sold by Harbor Freight, also made in China. 3 8 chuck. Plastic, 19 clutch positions, and then we have drill mode. A 1.3 amp hour battery, single speed. Now I did bring the Bauer back out here because I think it's a good value drill. Now it is sold by Harbor Freight and made in China. Half inch metal chuck, 21 clutch positions, and then drill mode. The battery that would come in the kit is a 1.5 amp hour. And you do have the spot here for the belt clip. And it does also have a two-speed gearbox. Heart, sold by Walmart. Again, made in China. You do have a plastic half-inch chuck. You have a bit holder on the back. And the kit would either come with a 1.5 or 2 amp power. Just like the Bauer, it has a two-speed gearbox. Denali, new to the game, sold by Amazon. Now, most of you know that this is actually produced by Skill and is made in China. Plastic half-inch chuck. 17 position clutch with drill mode, spot for your hook there, and the kit comes with a two amp hour battery. This also has a two speed gearbox. Most expensive on the list, Craftsman, mainly sold by Lowe's and is made in China. Plastic half inch chuck, 23 position clutch and drill mode there, hook mount on either side, and can be purchased in a kit with a 1.3 or two amp hour battery. This drill also has a two-speed gearbox. So like normal on the dyno here, I'm gonna do three pulls per battery each and take an average for that power and torque. So I'll show you one run per drill with the best performing watts. So here it was with the nine amp hour on the Craftsman. The skill five amp hour on the Denali. Here the heart 1.5 amp hour and you'll see why. And what's interesting is it seems to be a clutch failure similar to what we've seen uh, with the DeWalt Atomics. Now the Warrior only has a 1.3 amp hour battery, barely spun the dyno over. Hyper tough, that 1.5 amp hour, same thing as the Warrior. Max torque, pound inch. So the Hyper Tough Warrior and Heart did horrible here. Again, the Heart did fail the clutch. Max Power, pretty much the same deal here. The Hyper Tough Warrior and Heart didn't do very well. So overall, after the dyno testing, I don't care for this Heart. Failed on the dyno. And just look how big this drill is. Now for comparison here, I think I bought this rigid in 2009 and the size is almost identical here. So 2023, 2009, same size, failed on the dyno. I'm gonna have to say a hard pass on this one. We didn't even get to test all the batteries. It failed with the 1.5. Hyper Tough and Warrior here, yeah, barely could spin the dyno over with horrible results. Now, yes, you can pick these up pretty cheap. MSRP is around $30 for the kits, but the Warrior you can find probably around $25 or even cheaper. But again, horrible performance, 
they do offer an impact as well, but you're stuck with just a drill and an impact for that battery platform. And the only battery you can currently get is a 1.3 amp hour. Personally, I wouldn't waste your money on either one of these. Yes, they're cheap, but it's just a throwaway drill with very poor performance. Denali, I'd say the same thing. Uh, this still operates, uh, even though we did let the smoke out of her here, but uh, she still does operate. But the performance for the cost uh, is pretty bad. I think you could do a lot better. Now, one benefit is you can use skill batteries here on this like we tested. So at least if you do buy the drill and you upgrade later on, you know, you could use this Denali battery uh, in your skill drill. Unless you see this kit for 30 some dollars, I would stay away from this drill as well. Craftsman here performed pretty well. My only problem with it is the price of $100 for the kit with the two amp hour I think it's pretty high when you start to get into that brushless drill range. Yes, it's a decent drill, but you're at that price point where you could find a brushless drill with more power and probably more torque. So budget wise to me, if you're looking for something in that 20 volt, 18 volt range brushed, I'm gonna have to give it here to the Bauer for that price. You do have that full metal chuck, and you can also buy a three amp hour, five amp hour battery. So here's the table like normal with all the drills I've tested. We have to go to the second page because of how low the performance was. Here you can see at the bottom, the Bauer and the Craftsman. Now the Bauer had a higher Watts or power rating, but the Craftsman did provide higher torque. So that pound inch. Third page, we find that Denali coming in below the Bosch, 12 volt. So pretty horrible performance there for the price. And then the fourth page, the Heart, which failed there, you can see in red, and the Warrior, and the Hyper Tough. So for my testing, if you're gonna go with budget brushed, I'm gonna to have to say you go with the Bauer. Hopefully you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of these drills and how they've performed. Like normal, I will leave the links. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on another one.